Are you looking for the best things to do in Whitefish Mountain? Hey there, I'm Frankie, and in this guide, I am excited to unveil all of the incredible opportunities and adventures that await you here in the stunning region of Whitefish Mountain, Montana. Wander Whitefish Mountain is a mountain chic lodge with five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a cedar soaking tub and cedar sauna, a gym and so much more, making it the perfect mountain escape. There is a ton to do and see here, so come on, let's get on with the travel guide. A showcase of melting glaciers, alpine meadows, spectacular lakes, and carved terrain with over 700 miles of trails, Glacier National Park is perfect for those adventurous visitors seeking out wilderness that is steeped in human history. The park obviously gets its name from its glacier carved terrain and all of the remnant glaciers that are from the ice ages from over 10,000 years ago. It is amazing that we can come and see this beautiful park today all of this natural history. The park is also home to over 70 species of mammals including grizzly bears, wolverines, gray wolves, and lynx. There are also over 270 species of birds that visit or live within the park today including harlequin ducks, dippers, and golden eagles. Whitefish Mountain in Montana is a very popular spot among outdoor enthusiasts all year round. Known for its serene natural beauty and recreational opportunities, the mountain offers world-class skiing and snowboarding in the winter, and in the summer months offers opportunities for hiking, mountain biking, and taking in the breathtaking views of Glacial National Park at its summit. The charming town of Whitefish, located at the base of the mountain, also offers a very welcoming community and a variety of dining options for its visitors. Whitefish Lake State Park is a 10-acre public recreational area right on Whitefish Lake, just right off of US Highway 93 and two miles northwest of downtown Whitefish, Montana. A mature woodland is featured here in this beautiful and secluded campground and beach. It offers boating, swimming, RV and tent camping, and fishing. There are also hiking and biking sites as well. The Whitefish Depot is a stop on Amtrak's Empire Building here in Whitefish, Montana. The Tudor Revival Station building is also known as the Great Northern Railway Passenger and Freight Depot and Division Office, or as the Whitefish Depot, which is so much easier and quicker to say, right? <laughs> this building was restored in the 1990s to house a waiting room, railroad offices, and the Stumptown Historical Society. This today is still a working railroad, but they do have a really cool museum on the inside of this building here so you can take a glimpse in the history of this town. While in Whitefish, you can't miss Montana Shirt Company, a tribute to all things Montana. This family-owned business passionately represents the state's diversity from its eastern prairies to the western Rockies. Check out their stylish tees, hoodies, hats, and all the accessories you need for a memory of Montana. Whitefish Mountain in Montana's dining scene offers a variety of options to satisfy all palates. The on-mountain dining options provide skiers and snowboarders with a choice from cozy lodges and cafeterias for more of a quicker bite and upscale restaurants with scenic views for a more relaxed dining experience. In the town of Whitefish, you can explore a very vibrant culinary scene with a variety of options ranging from gourmet eateries serving up locally sourced dishes to charming cafes, pizzerias and bars, making it so easy for you to choose something that suits your taste after a long day of outdoor adventure. Here are a few places we recommend dining at during your stay. We wanted a more classy, modern meal, so we dined at Latitude 48 right in downtown Whitefish. This is a very inviting bistro featuring an artful fusion of traditional and contemporary trends. We got their appetizer special of the night, beef tips tossed in chimichurri sauce and sauteed spinach served with savory polenta. We got the seafood bucatini pasta that had scallops, mussels, tiger shrimp, sun-dried tomatoes, and spinach all delicately plated in a lemon butter sauce. Oh my goodness. Yum, along with the Parmesan fries, which were of course perfectly crispy. 
Lula's is a family owned and operated restaurant with a very strong emphasis on made from scratch dishes. They feature farm to market pork, hormone and antibiotic free Montana beef and local produce when it's available in the area here. We got two of the local favorites on the menu, the second street burrito filled with scrambled eggs, spicy sausage, green chilies, pinto beans and cheddar folded in a warm flour tortilla, which was definitely satisfying savory cravings and the lemon stuffed French toast for something a little bit sweeter. And let me tell you, this was amazing. Lula's also hand bakes fresh pies of all fillings. They are only open for breakfast and lunch, so make sure you dine here earlier in the day to get an authentic Montana mountain meal. Moose's Saloon has been serving legendary pizza for over 60 years in the Flathead Valley in Montana. One of the great things about this pizzeria is that it's open until 12.30 a.m. So if you need a late night snack, which definitely happens sometimes, this is a great place to come for that. There's a huge bar on the inside, a little bit of a casino room, and plenty of space to have so much fun. Spotted Bear Spirits is a community-minded craft distillery inspired by Montana's wild places. The lineups of spirits reflects the rugged landscape with heart and soul. The tasting room features craft cocktails made with local and fresh ingredients, bottle sales, and take-home mixers. I dove right into the salt and pepper martini. It was such a smooth cocktail and was the perfect blend of sweet, salt, and pepper. You can sip on some fun cocktails here, have a tasting of their spirits and even purchase their spirits and liqueurs all bottled up and ready to enjoy at home. Buffalo Cafe is a unique blend of old style cafe and modern day grill, making it a super fun and relaxed dining experience. With its family friendly menu, over 10 draft beers from local breweries on draft and locally sourced specials, the Buffalo Cafe has something for everyone any time of the day. I got the cold smoke scotch ale from Kettle House Brewing. This was a darker brew with a nice pinch of scotch flavor. The Montana elk tacos were just calling my name was such a super unique creation. The first bite was insanely juicy and bursted a blend of savory flavors into my mouth. Then the bison meatloaf dish with a black cherry glaze served with roasted carrots and mashed potatoes. This was the ultimate winter dish that just warmed the insides. Come have a warm delicious meal in this old school cafe. Well, thank you for joining me here at Wander Whitefish Mountain. We are so excited to welcome you here. Do not hesitate to contact our Wander Concierge team during your trip to enhance your experience. And do not forget to tag at Wander in any photos or videos you take during your trip so we can see all of that fun you had here in Montana. Enjoy. Enjoy.